All right, so this was supposed to be just a simple picture frame. You know, I do all these elaborate uh, humidors and stuff like that. And so I was, you know, doing something a little different, making a picture frame uh, for the lounge. And uh, this had to be the most frustrating build I've had to do yet. Something so simple, it, it, just, it, it just beat me up. So, uh, had some scrap walnut that I'm using. And here I'm just cutting the miters for the four corners. And uh, now I'm just cutting it down to size. All right, so here I'm just doing a scrap piece to make sure I've got the uh, router bit set up in the right spot. Uh, this is gonna put the rabbit on the back of the frame so the picture can sit inside there. I'm only doing just a, like a shallow pass on the first one and each, with each pass I'll go a little bit deeper until I'm riding on that bearing. And here's where I begin to try to uh, do this glue up here. And, you know, I see this trick all the time where you use this paper, uh, I'm sorry, this tape as a, uh, more or less a clamp. And um, it looks so easy when everybody else does it. And it gave me a huge headache. And uh, so, yeah, here it is easy enough. Like you just fold it up on itself. And uh, nope, that didn't work. So let me try laying it down flat. <laughs> and as you'll see in a second, that ain't gonna work either. And you know, you're kind of working against time here because the glue is gonna set up rather quickly. Uh, so I said, screw it. Let's just pull the domino out. So I'm gonna put the dominoes in there. Put these mortises in each corner. You know, and surely with the domino, it's going to line up just right, you know. Uh, shouldn't be no issues whatsoever. So I'll put some glue on these on these joints and uh, pull them together with the dominoes. And uh, even though I've got the dominoes in there, I'm still going to need some, some clamping pressure. So here I am with the clamps and just wasn't quite working out right. So I was like, okay, let me try this uh, strap clamp here. Easy enough, right? Yeah. I fiddled with this thing for I don't know how long. Um, when I thought I almost had it, I was tightening it up and it just popped out. So, and you gotta remember now, I'm working against the clock here on this glue setting up. And I don't want to set up with the miters not being nice and tight. And I just, I don't know if it just wasn't my day or what it was, but it just was not going right whatsoever. As I begin to tighten it up, maybe, whoops. So you know what, screw that. Let me try to go back to, to this little small F style clamps. Do each individual corner. If I could just figure out what order to put them in. So this did work. You can see I'm getting a pretty good squeeze out right there. So 
So finally got that thing clamped up. And um, gonna unclamp them now. And because it is a miter joint, need to put some splines in these joints. So I had every intention of just doing just spines on the corners like you normally would. And um, I don't know, um, something happened, I screwed up. So I'm like, you know what, well now I'm just gonna run um, the splines uh, all the way down the sides of the picture frame and just maybe use a different type of wood to make it look like an inlay. Um, was still giving me the added strength of still being somewhat spine-like, I guess you could say. So there I was cutting it up, cutting these pieces, um, getting them to where they'd fit inside the uh, the groove on the side of, of the frame. And uh, let me just say too, this isn't the best uh, video I've made all the frustration and everything I just uh, wasn't feeling it so this is pretty much gonna be the end of it it was a crappy piece and uh, it highly frustrated me but I just want y'all to see that you know I, I screw up like crazy and uh, this is just me screwing up <laughs> so sorry y'all had to watch this uh, but uh, you know give me some funny comments in there in the comment section